What's going on, my brothers and sisters? So I just woke up from one of the most crazy dreams I've ever had. I know it was one of those spiritual dreams. I wrote it all down. I'm going to pray on it a little bit more, and then I'll share it with you guys. I actually believe that God wants me to turn my, you know, dreams into uh, to books, like um, fiction books. Now, I have a book already out called End Worlds. Uh, if you haven't read it, it's just interesting, you know, when I wrote it and then all the things that were going on over the last couple of years, I believe that we're living in the end times. And um, so you can check that out. But this morning, I want to talk about uh, Pastor Jamal's recent comments. All right. Now, if you've been following me for many years, you know, this is not the first time that I've brought up Pastor Jamal Bryant. Lots of issues with, you know, things that... Um, he is done. You know, I don't necessarily agree. Uh, there was one point where he came out and he spoke out against Sage. And so, you know, I kind of thought, OK, you know, man, you know, I'm all about unity and things like that. So but God has always kind of had my, um, you know, spiritual eye on him. And it was kind of like a thumbs down, you know, especially during all the political stuff. He's one of those guys that he takes culture and he does he's not kingdom over culture culture comes over kingdom um there's borderline sometimes seems like there's some kind of bitterness and resentment sometimes toward other it's like it's put it this way it's like he wants to be malcolm x in his community but that doesn't work with christianity you know he gives me those kind of vibes and um now the thing is some people say well you know you're just he's just called to this this group of individuals but I believe that when it becomes an idol, when your skin color becomes an idol, when your skin color starts dictating how and, and, and what you preach, because, you know, God is no respective person. The Bible works for everybody. Whoever, whoever applies it is going to work for. But I've seen things that, you know, Jesus said, if I be lifted up, I would draw all men unto me. But if you're in your church, you know, lifting up other stuff, that's often why we have segregation in churches. Because if you're just being a light, then people are going to come out of the darkness. But, you know, if your light is tainted with other things that you're pushing and promoting and preaching, then, yes, there's going to be that segregation. There. And there's all kinds of churches that are, you know, guilty of doing that. And that's just not God's plan. But I feel like he's gotten to the point he's been in it so long that everything he does now revolves more around being black. You know, he's so pro-black that, you know, you have to be careful. It doesn't become an idol. Um, but... He made some recent comments, and like I said, so he has a history of doing some, you know, questionable things. And I, you know, when God gives me that feeling in my spirit, when I when He shows me, you know, people drinking, fornicating, you know, all kinds of different things, or they're just not living that life, or He shows me, hey, like they're they're not built like you guys, meaning the the remnant. You might not always see it. Sometimes, you know, people, are t they were getting mad, you know, that's your brother in Christ, da, 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 or don't talk about this one. Don't talk about Maverick City. Don't talk about Kirk Franklin. You know, whatever it is, I know what God be showing me. And so, you know, like I said, I don't think I'm better than anybody or nothing like that, but I know what I have with God, and I know what he be showing me, and he's just, he doesn't be pleased with a lot of stuff that these people are doing. So check out this uh, video recently. I speak to this nation to declare that new birth stands with the amazing women of this church, of this community, and of this country, that women have the right to have authority over their body. 15 minutes later. That mothers have the right to elect where it is that they are in the season and the stages of their life, and they should not be criminalized for making decisions that, that will best suit them. And so, you know, I Obviously, you know why that's wrong. You know that that's anti-Bible. And we've said many times, like when people are moving in these things, that's the anti-Christ spirit. And, you know, this guy, I hate to, you know, bring this up because it's going to make a lot of people upset. But when I look at people's political views, as I did with him and many other, you know, um, preachers. Now, I'm not saying our hope is in any, in any one political figure. But I've always said that, you know, when you put the Bible says the judgment, righteous judgment, when you put that stuff on the scales and you see the agendas that are being pushed, the laws that are being pushed here in America, it's clear that there's no way in the world I can vote Democrat. Now, I'm not saying Republicans are like, you know, perfect, flawless or to put our hope in them. But 
when I see all the stuff that they're pushing and they're doing, all the crazy stuff that we got going on in America, all the agenda-driven stuff is because of that party pushing that stuff, you know? I remember when Obama was lit, lit up the White House with the LGBT. God told me, like, hey, I'm not pleased. I'm not going to get into all that. He's given us several um, chances to repent, but America insists on being a Sodom and Gomorrah. And he tends to lean more to that liberal side. And here's the thing. It's a liberal side, right? So the enemy, the Antichrist spirit can flow through it better because you know, you could say the other side is pandering or whatever, but there's some kind of line that they're like, hey, we're not going to cross this line, right? And so when you start looking at all the different things, like I don't care about people's feelings. Oh, well, I feel this. I'm talking about legislation, actual laws, things that we can look up and judge with righteous judgment and weigh it and put it on a scale, right? You see, like, uh, it's like it's easier for the Antichrist to move because there is no wall. There is no, it's like anything else, just let people love who they want to let people do what they want to do. You know, no accountability. Let let people go out there and, and loot and, and the police need to back off. Like the, the Republicans aren't saying that kind of stuff. You see what I'm saying? That lawlessness, the, the abortions, the LGBTQ agenda, like all of that stuff. And it's like, it's to me, it's almost like it's setting it up for the Antichrist to come, right? Because the, all the chaos and things that they're creating, you know what I'm saying? The Antichrist is going to come in and say, hey, I can make peace. I can fix this. So anyways, I could tell a lot about a person, like how deep they are in the spirit, you know, just by their views on a lot of that stuff. And he's one of those guys, like he tends to lean to that liberal side, um, you know, like a lot of these dudes do because of cancel culture. If you look at the people who get censored, the people who get silenced, the people that they try to you know, steal the voice and platform. It doesn't really come from that liberal side. It comes from more Christian conservative voices. And that's just a fact. Because the things that, you know, I, I speak, you know, I speak on a lot of different things and I'm bold about a lot of things. A lot of people don't like it, but it honestly does line up more with that conservative side of things. And like I said, I'm not saying no side is perfect. I'm not saying, hey, Republicans are or whatever, whatever, you know what I'm saying? It just, it is what it is. And a lot of people, you know, they're scared to take that stand because that's the narrative that people know. That's the old, you know, white man that they're pushing for um, to overturn Roe versus Wade. You know, the white man trying to hold, uh, you know, women down and tell women what to do with their bodies. So then people like Jamal Bryan come along and they just, you know, they, they don't want to fall in that that side. That's why a lot of pastors didn't say anything and celebrate. I'm going to be real with you, really real with you. That's why they didn't speak out. Because Roe versus Wade getting overturned, it's looked at as more of like the conservatives were pushing for that. Right? And so some Christian churches, uh, especially in the minority churches, in order for them to like celebrate and publicly be like, wow, this is a good thing. They're acknowledging like, you know, this group that we often label, uh, you know, the, the racist group and they're holding everybody down. You know what I'm saying? All those kind of are, you know, hey, Kanye, how dare you go talk to Trump? Steve Harvey, how dare you go talk to You know, you know how it goes. They're the ones who's pushing for that. So it's like, if I speak out and say this, it's almost like I'm selling. And so they're scared that their Hollywood friends, their music industry, their carnal people, all their carnal business connections, cancel culture. And I think he's probably just so lost in it, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, but we'll pray for him. It's crazy out here. It's sad to see he's not the only one. You got that other guy, Womick or whatever his name is. He'd be on the same exact thing. And it's all, it's really just pandering. These, these, you know, these, I'm not going to, I'm going to be careful what I say. But people like to throw that term, you know, wolves in sheep's clothing. Now, I know the other guy for sure. He's a straight wolf. But I don't, I just, you know, I don't feel released to say any of that stuff about uh, Pastor Jamal. I'm just going to pray for him. But, you know, people quick to throw around that term wolf because, oh, somebody doesn't agree with some of your theology or something. No, the wolves are the ones like Womack, you know, whatever his name is, you know. They use that position, you know, just you're pimping the gospel. And so they just pander, 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 pander. I told you guys before, like, if you're your pastor, these worship teams and these leaders, like, if they never take a stand that makes the world mad, like, never, something's wrong with that. 
every time they take a stand and they make a post, it's something that the world, you know, approves of. It's something that the world's not going to make them upset. That's not brave. That's not bold. So that's just something to think about. Like a lot of these Christian rappers, they don't they don't speak up, they don't say nothing until it's something that, you know, that liberal side, to be honest, yes, that liberal side is speaking out against. Then they'll be like, yeah, we're speaking out against that too. It's a lot of manipulation. It's just, you know, just be pray prayed up, guys. Love you guys.